Doug Mead final report submitted on official Facebook survey form upon competing basic block and report action, submitted October 27, 8.30 am. Adi Da Samurai I, Adi Da Samurai 3, Mike 59, Sicko Flicko, Randall Kitty Davis stole the group HTTP www.facbook.com groups vibookies. Three days ago and now Facebook is punishing and penalizing those in that group who report this group and indiscriminately report any and all photos, videos and content. This was a three-year-old group with over 70 members which had never had a problem until Randall Kitty Davis brought in and gave an administrator status to Adi Da Samurai II, who turned out to be a neo-Nazi extremist, using a fake Facebook profile based on a 1980s New Age pop religious figure and who then began a campaign of posting of obscenities, Nazi propaganda, photos hot to hate images of various members which two days subsequent culminated in his self-induction and reversal of all former administrative settings, and which resulted in his commanding sole administratorship of this group, a group which he had been a member of for a total of three days. He then posted a message at the top of the group which read, This group has been hijacked which featured below with a terrorist threat to frighten any remaining members, and which linked to an FBI governmental website regarding what to do in the event of the terrorist hijacking of a commercial aircraft like those employed in the September 11, 2000 suicide bombing of the World Trade Center. After this illegal act of aggression, he began creating multiple fake profiles of himself or sock puppets, as they are known on Wikipedia, which he then appointed to administrator status, so that even if we, the former members of this group, had been successful in contacting Facebook through any channel besides that which I write you at present, something that criminally doesn't exist, Facebook would have to eliminate, at last count, over 10 bogus profiles or the entire group in order to remove control from him and his self-appointed group of administrators. He is now publicly boasting via Facebook along with Randall Kitty Davis the threat which may currently be viewed on the official Facebook page I stopped eating Sparta that he is in possession of mine and several other erstwhile members IP address, along with a sarcastic remark of thanks as a final implied threat. This group of individuals has been linked to online hacking, credit card fraud and identity theft on Facebook in the past and is no doubt planning to do the same thing in this instance. The original group was named the Bookies with the Facebook Uniform Resource Locator prefix for groups, it was a secret group, and has not been in the control of any of its original and rightful administrators since Tuesday, October 24, 2011. Most of those members who were successfully contacted on that first day, were able to successfully block and report these individuals, but after the second day no one previously a member of the group was able to gain entry in order to officially leave the group, which is how it remains until today. Many former members are extremely concerned about their personal privacy and the security of their online presence within the confines of Facebook and can only hope that the unknown disposition of the individuals who did in fact unlawfully compromise their identity, security, and peace of mind will somehow be addressed through the multiple reports which I's group founder have urged everyone to file. However, as there is absolutely no provision for a unique complaint and report of this nature provided by Facebook which does not consist merely of a from and three option checklist, most are cynical at the desired outcome and resolution to this easily remediable act of online piracy. This predicament and Facebook's inadequate provision for same are now being forwarded to multiple influential blogs and media agencies such as Mashable, New York Times, LA Times, and many smaller blogs who specialize in Facebook and social network matters. Gentlemen, I suggest you investigate this matter immediately before any controversial, negative press is generated at best, and at worst, before a personal or class action lawsuit is filed by any or all of those violated and even now unable to adequately report or deal with directly with an appointed official Facebook representative to address their multiple privacy and safety concerns, no matter what fine print you may have in your user agreement, it would easily be contested in a court of law should this become even worse and more intrusive than it has from the moment it occurred. Sincerely, Maury O'Rourke, org, group founder, October 27, 2011 http www.facbook.com groups vibookies